it's been a pretty good weekend of sales. But unfortunately, they're not going to pack themselves, are they? So that means I've got to pack them all up myself because I don't have any staff yet. Emma is actually very keen to start helping me on Fridays. So my partner is currently a teacher, currently a teacher. She's not changing anytime soon, but she doesn't work Fridays. The kids go back to school soon. And where Emma used to normally have Ada on a Friday, because Ada wasn't at preschool, Ada's going to be in school. So I'm going to set Emma up with a couple of tasks every Friday, just a little bit, see how she gets on, let her figure stuff out. And then hopefully we can bring her on. And then I haven't got to do all of this packing. No, I'm joking, Emma, I'll help you, of course. We've had a pretty nice weekend, bank holiday weekend of sales. It is now Tuesday, so I'm starting to get to that point where things need to go out. Nothing needs to go out today, tomorrow. I don't want to be rushing and panicking, do I? Watching a bit of DJ audits. I used to hate that guy, and I still think he's a snobby little swine, but he's growing on me like a wart, but that one that I love to pick. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, so we've had some sales, of course, that's why we're here, and we are going to start off with the Vinted sales, because I've already done them, so let's let's just show you what they are. Ooh, oh, it's full as well, get up there. Bought that yesterday. Vinted, £1.97. We've sold this Marvel, what do you call it, Marvel Avengers top. I picked this up from a mystery bundle thing. Do you, do you remember when I bought the mystery packages? Obviously, I knew it was all going to be junk and whatever else. This was in there. Yeah, not too bad at all. Massive, massive, massive thank you to Lewis and Helen. They've picked this one up on its way to you shortly, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> £2.31 for this Corgi Popeye. I lied, it was £2.23. The Burghouse and the Napa Piri last t-shirt that I picked up from those £3 bundles have both sold. £13.62 to Jamie. Really appreciate you, mate. Apparently, as a local lad, he asked me to come and pick it up. But I was like, brother, I can't commit to that. I never know when I'm going to be around. So, Jay Beardy. Jubba, 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 Jay Beardy, I appreciate you. Don't ever do that again, Ricky. Ever, ever, ever. Gotcha. Yes. Harry Potter glasses and the Golden Snitch sold for £2. Let me give the biggest, biggest... What the hell is going on here? Better. Let me give the biggest, 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 biggest thank you to Mark. Mark sent me this lovely long message basically explaining that he wanted to find my selling stores. I mentioned that they're in the links in the description. I need, I need to put my Vincent in there. I keep forgetting I need to do that. The reason why I haven't done that yet is because I have to update all the ones historically as well. And you can do it in one big edit, but to me, it's a task, it's a chore. And with my brain, it's a block. Forget it. But I will do that. My Vinted is 2002 RL. But Mark sent me a lovely message explaining how... See, I went on a massive tangent then for no reason. And I'm doing it again now. Mark, Mark, Mark. Let's stick with Mark. Let's stay on the mark. Mark sent me a lovely message explaining how he would love to support me and my channel by making a purchase from one of my stores glider in the air of course there's a glider in the air today why wouldn't there be a glider in the air today mark took a look at my vintage and saw this and he must have been really quick because i only listed this yesterday and within 20 minutes it was sold this is the barber wax jacket hat wax jacket hat this is the barber wax hat that i picked up from yesterday's car boot sale from the same deal that i brought all that scotty cameron stuff which is still yet to be legit checked but i don't hold much hopes but you never know. You know. I'm not an expert in that field. I'm not. It's like when somebody brings you... I've actually got a pair of Travis Scott, Cactus Jack, them brown suede Nike Air Force things, whatever they're called. I've got them in the loft because I can't tell if they're real or not. Same thing with those things. Anything massively high-end like that, like trainers and the Scotty Cameron stuff, which are fake to that degree, I can't tell. Well, I never will tell. So I'm going to take them to some golfing shops, take them to the golf club. It's worth a little trip in it and see what they can say or whatever thing. But anyway, a tangent again! Pick this up, I paid £20 for a lot of stuff. The rangefinder that was in that is working perfectly fine as well. Pay £20 for everything. Mark has paid, I think it's £13.21. Let me check. £13.21. So Mark, really appreciate your kind words. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I hope I can continue making some good videos for you, mate. Really appreciate it. Thank you. That was longer than it needed to be, wasn't it? My goodness. Common theme with prices now. £13.21 for these Vans trainers. I paid £4 for my car boot sale a couple of weeks ago. And they're sold. Oh, you sold them too cheap. They're 39 on eBay. Don't care. Another one from yesterday's pickup is this Build-A-Bear Rainbow. If you remember, I 
overpaid for some stuff because I didn't have my phone and I was pretty sure that something with the pattern is. In fact, you know what? Just go and watch the video. It's going to be quicker than me explaining again and again and again because I keep going off on tangents this morning and I don't know why. I think I'm overstimulated for some reason. It's only 9.41. I've only had one coffee. My brain's obviously fuzzing today. I must have got some good sleep. Shut the fuck up. Mr. Squire has picked this up. Five pounds on Vinted. So I've got five pound back so far. I need to find another two quid on the Nala. <laughs> Gareth has picked up the Necker figure for five pound on Vinted. Gareth, really appreciate you, mate. You've got a bargain there. It's already packed up. I can't show you, but a Lyle and Scott extra large rain jacket that I picked up a little while ago. I think I paid one pound from a car boot sale and washed it and it came up lovely, perfect. I almost kept it for myself, but I'm not a big Lyle and Scotter. Sold it cheap, £15.21. Oh, we've got a bundle now for £5.50 of some stuff that was just sticking around and has damages. So we've got a pair of Calvin Klein chinos that have ripped cuffs. These Calvin Klein boots, which the insides are corroding as hell. It's a shame because they look like they've, they've, they've never been used. Look, they look like they've never been used, but they've just been stored incorrectly. So they're all flaking on the inside. And the Mountain Warehouse jacket from that. 107 pound bundle that i picked up uh sold it all for five pounds 50 moved it on we don't mind that at all sorry about my waffling then i'm not too sure what's going on if i'm honest okay let me get that stuff packed up let me get the ebay stuff picked and on the table and we'll come back to you for the ebay stuff why are you still spinning i need to get a new chair can anybody recommend me a decent high office chair i want it to be like an office chair with a nice back on it but one that can go high not just low do you know what I mean? Any recommendations down below would be mighty fine. And if you have an Amazon affiliate link and there's one on there that I like, use your Amazon affiliate link and I'll click that bad boy. See what I mean? Right, that's the vintage stuff done. Before we move into the eBay, which is all picked and spread out on the table like a buffet of dreams, I want to show you some pickups that I got from the charity shop yesterday, just very quickly, because I thought they're quite cool. I'd never seen this game before in my life until the other week, and I found one, picked it up, listed it, sold it two or three days ago for £19.99. Same charity shop, same place, same game, better condition, even though the last one was in fantastic condition. This one, the box is just a little bit better. For the same price, £3.50, I'm just going to sell similar on my old listing and get it gone again. Beautiful. Should be another £19.99 sale there. Why is the street so active in the morning? It's actually 20 to 11 now, so I have to let them off. Oh, you bastard. Got it. It's got a little rip just there where the pocket meets. It shouldn't be too much of an issue, but that's not good, especially the price I paid. Fuck it. Ah. Hugo Boss shorts, size large, really quite a cool colorway and style. Paid five pounds for it. Five pound. Just where the pocket is, I guess he's like trying to stick one of those big bulky androids in there that everyone's got. £5 paid. I'm just going to put them on Vinted again for £5, get my money back. They'll sell on there for that. And this one is very interesting, which is why I'm slipping it into the video, because I think it's worth putting out there. I had no idea. No idea. So I saw this really cool Under Armour t-shirt, and I'm like, that's my colours all over. I do plan to go back to the gym soon, because I don't have a gym at home anymore. But I do plan to go back to the gym soon. I always... In fact, I'm not going to talk about my gym my gym story. Emma will attest to that. She's, she's heard enough of it. I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out. Anyway, Under Armour. Black with like almost tiger style digital camo in orange. I really love that colour. But then I saw on the back, Tough Mudder. And I was like, oh, I've never done a Tough Mudder before. I can't be wearing that. Do you know what I mean? I'm guessing like you bought, you bought these at Tough Mudder or something is what I thought. But no, apparently it's just a... Under Armour release, which was obviously aimed at people who were going to go and do Tough Mudder. So they went and brought their merch and went and bought this stuff to go and run the Tough Mudder in. It doesn't have a date on it. It's not like Tough Mudder 2018 or Finish or anything like that. What is sold pre-owned in the States for like $59.99? That's the only one I can find sold. So I'm guessing it's quite a sought after piece. Annoyingly, it is my size. But can I wear a Tough Mudder? But then again, people wear like Chelsea tops and they've never played for Chelsea. That's just the first football team I could think of. Is it weird to wear a Tough Mudder top if you've never done a Tough Mudder in the gym? I would also imagine that when I list this, the people that buy this probably would have done a Tough Mudder. And they'll like it if people say, oh, you've done Tough Mudder, have you, mate? And then they can give a story. If I'm in the gym or out and about wearing this and someone says, oh, you did a Tough Mudder, mate? I'm either going to have to lie through my teeth and think of the most poetic story in the world or be like, oh, no, mate, no. 
But it could be quite fun thinking up many stories, couldn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did Tough Mudder in 2020. They uh, did the electric bit and uh, they forgot to turn the voltage down. It was on full blast for me and me only. I walked through. It was like walking through a cold winter's evening. It was nothing, mate. Just a few prickles on the skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, mate. I did the rope. Did it all with one hand. You know what I mean? Just yanked myself up. It was easy peasy. Oh, really, mate? It sounds really interesting. What is your name? Jay Cartwright. I paid a measly... £3.50 for that. So I am going to do some research again properly. Hopefully, if it's a £50 t-shirt, I'll see £30 out of that. Boom! Right, let's move into the eBay stuff. Because otherwise, I'm never going to get any work done. I had another couple of sales come through since and I haven't picked them yet. So I probably will tell you though. A new offer. Ah, Mark, bless you. So Mark saw the radar that I've got listed. He's found one in his, I think he said his grandfather's garage, I think, or his late father's garage. Apologies, mate. I don't have the message up here anymore. It's forty ninety nine. He offered ten pound. I had to count her offer, unfortunately, because it's going to be like a one to two kilo parcel, which is going to put it in sort of four pound bracket. If it was one kilo, I'd have accepted Mark one hundred percent, and he declined. So I thought fair enough. But he just resent the offer again, saying sorry, I declined the twelve pound, clicking the wrong one. Here is the offer I sent for again. Now, cheers, Mark. So I guess he might as well just pick that one now, aren't we? Where is that box D? Yeah, let's just pick this one now for you, mate. In fact, I'm going to accept your offer live, not live, but you know what I'm saying, don't you? You know what I mean, on camera. It is a Radot headlamp. So you put them on like vintage cars and whatever else. There you go. Cheers, Mark. I appreciate you, buddy. There we go. It's a headlamp with the vintage ones on the old front. So they're like the uh, Mark 1s, Mark 2s, Mark, Mark. But I paid... £2.50 for this one from a car boot sale and I've now just sold it for £12 so after fees and postage I'll probably make four quid on it. I don't mind that especially going to you Mark. Really appreciate it bro and it's way too shortly. The Chameleon Energy Tester Energy Monitor Smart Meter there we go got there in the end. £14.24 paid £1 from a car boot sale. Wolfenstein 3D the last Jaguar game that I have has sold for £39.99 pence. Regular viewers of the channel will now understand that I have made a stonking profit off of that last pickup. Happy days. £6.17 for a Dreamcast RF unit, so you can plug it into your telly. Nothing now. Owes me nothing. Another one that's sold. Might as well get it out now, aren't I? Stop it. I meant the item. StarTech USB Hub has sold for £10 all in. Pennies paid. Pennies, bro. Hetty has sold for £11.99. I remember the days you used to be able to get 40 50 quid for this boxed, even if it was pre-owned. But still, you can find these for like 50p or a pound. I think I paid 75 pence from a charity shop. £9.49 for this Airfix Hurricane. Yeah, £9.49. Car boot sale pound. It's going to get a second mention because why not? The Power Rangers Sword doesn't need to be out until tomorrow. I think the offer was made on Friday. So I had all weekend and that. It's bank holiday, isn't it? But I'm ready to let this one go now. Started half packing it. £11 sold. Gone to Rick. Massively appreciate you, mate. He's over on YouTube. I think he left me a comment, actually. So it's good job that I'm bringing this up. I'm going to try and find it and put a screenshot up here. Rick, really appreciate you, mate. Fantastic name. Apparently, this is really, really rare. It's a cowbell. Bell? Cow. Cow. It's a cow. From Applause. The Applause are the company that make now all of the, like, gaming plush and things like that. Sold for £11.39 and there is a note on the order. Hey, Ricky. Love your channel. Keep doing you. Inspirational. Thank you. Funny. Thank you. And keeping it real. Thank you. Watch you when I'm packing up. Cheers, Amanda. Amanda, this is on its way to you. I definitely said Hamanda then. Amanda, on its way to you. Thank you so much. Mark's paid for the Radots. Rad the Yachts. BT4600 Duo Bundle. Just two house phones. Funny story. Not funny. Annoying, but whatever. Sold these for £10 on an offer. The bloke sent me a message saying, I don't want these anymore. Don't send them. I did start to top a message back saying, so can I keep the money? They didn't ask me to cancel. But I didn't because that's just childish. But then again. So I cancelled, relisted, and they sold in three minutes for £14.24. pence. Beautiful. Now this, annoyingly, I was filming for this. I did film a little clip for it, actually. If I've got it, I'll insert it. But I was doing like a charity shop trip. I went out and did a few bits and I thought, I'll film that just when I go and do a video. And for some reason, I never did that video in the end. But I sold this uh, Ma Young set. I'm not going to open it because it's a pain in the ass, isn't it? So oh, I'll just do it. Ma Young set. Really nice one. It was £10 in the charity shop for a month. 
And then I went in there and they was doing all their reductions. So I quickly looked in the board game section and there it was for a fiver. Sold it for £42.74. Canon PowerShot SX420. Blaze it. It's actually 240 for a start. What a knob. Sold for £39.99. Pence. Oh my god, that's cheap. It's 40. Uh I think the flash doesn't come out. What's the what's the problems with it? What have I listed? That's wrong with it. The scratches on the lenses. It throws up an error message, wrong flash position, reset the camera. No battery, no leads, no memory card. There is a way to fix it. I haven't got the time, patience, or energy to, to deal with that. Morning. So I'm not gonna bother. 39.99. Pennies paid. Big camera bundle. Made hundreds. Eight pounds fifty-four for this beast who looks just like me. Paid a pound. Eight pounds thirty-six for Peter Pan. Peter Pan. I don't know my cartoons, obviously. £16.14 for this Southern Electric Energy Meter. I paid £2 for my car boot sale. I offered him a pound and he said, I'm going to stick it £2, please. I said, no problem, bro. No problem. BT Vision Remote, £7.59. Let's turn you off. Sorry about that. I still need you for a minute. £75 all in for the Commodore Sound Expander. Fantastic little things to look out for. These are, you can get a hell of a lot more if you're willing to wait around a hell of a lot longer. You've kind of got to wait until all of them sell. Somebody's ringing me, but the phone's still recording, so that's great. We ignore phone calls. £2 paid, £12 sold for this Moe Jandon ice bucket. The reason why I bought this was because I thought to myself, yeah, mate, I can clean all that up. No problem. I'll get, I'll get the market value for that or just under. I can't. I've scrubbed, I've scrubbed, I've scrubbed. I've, I've put on the listing, I believe it to be paint spatter, just to sort of say, look, it ain't coming off. £12 paid. Nope, £12 sold. £6.17 for the dribs and drabs of the LED drivers. I have five left and I've actually updated the listing to say I've got five left. And for £74.39, pence, I paid £4 per bag. I bought four bags. I sold one of them for £28 or something already. This is what's left. These are all the same brand. They are all Waldy bags. I've got to put these tissues back inside them. But nice little bundle. You've got navy blue, cream and black. Or navy blue, cream and black even. Yeah, just really nice. Waldy bag. Look out for the brand. They sell quite well. Apparently, the Queen's mother used to carry these, or the Queen. One of them. I can smell burning. I can smell burning. And that's all the sales we've had for the weekend and the bank holiday weekend day Monday. Bank holiday Monday. Now, a few people have asked me for the feeler jacket. Quite a lot, actually. And it is a size. Oh, it's doing that really weird European thing. 160 slash 80. Oh shit, that says feeler kids. Hold on a minute. Is that a kid size? This might be a kid size. That'd be annoying. But it says there. Feeler kids. Look underneath feeler. I'm an XL. I'm going to have to do some measuring basically. And then once I do, I will get it out to you and see what's what. But it's going to be a small size for anybody who's wondering annoying like a teenagers that's put me on a downer whatever who cares thank you so much for your time guys and girls i really appreciate you being here i've had some lovely comments recently and it's nice to know that i'm making an impact on your packing slash procrastinating lives where you've got me on in the background doing your stuff My stock seems to be coming alive now, so I'm going to go pack it into a nice little cage and ship it out of this door ASAP. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Take care. Love you. Bye. What's that now? Mark might be about to get another feature before we go anywhere. Many thanks. I've made an offer of £12. I often see it in your videos and other resellers I've watched lately. Passing by many older car parts and thinking if only they was aware, like a recent video of a black snap-on timing light you picked up worth about £150 to £200. If you ever get any parts in the car parts in the future and you don't know what they are etc send me a message and i'll try and help many thanks mark the snap-on timing light that i picked up bro had a big smash in the back of it um i think i might have the original footage if you want to in fact no forget it it's you have to trust me I had a big crack on the back of it i saw what it was
I didn't know it was worth 100 to 50 to 200. I thought 50 quid, I'd have bought that. But when I saw the back cracked, I didn't even bother asking. But anyway, really appreciate you, Mark. And really appreciate everyone else as well. Tangent City today. Goodbye. God.